Hi, I'm Alex Hester and this is my area. First off, the player needs to open the front door to the factory by finding all the solar panels, fixing them on the roof, and reconnecting power to the door. The first one is real easy to see so the player gets an initial idea of what he's looking for. If the player moves these boxes, they can find another solar panel placed behind them. The last solar panel in the shipyard is on the far end. The player can find other collectibles by exploring this area. Heading to the roof, the player can place the solar panels back on the empty pedestals by going near them and pressing E. If the player moves this box over to the large one, they can jump up and get the final solar panel. Once the power is connected, the light turns green to indicate that the input has power. When the connector is placed, the door opens. In the offices, the player has to find all the connectors to open the safe in order to find the blueprints and the final connector piece to get into the warehouse. The first connector can be found in the first office and connected to find the second one. Now the player takes the two connectors they found over to the safe room to connect power to the safe and open it up. Now the player has found the blueprints to the TLB, allowing them to craft it inside the factory. This special connector piece is needed to open the door to the warehouse, which cannot be powered by straight connectors. The player has to crouch under the fallen crate in order to get into the warehouse. First, they can see the door to their next objective in the refinery. When they connect it, they can see it doesn't work. They have to find another way in, which they can do by riding the gravnel crane into the refinery. By finding the connectors, they can replace power to the lights inside the warehouse and power the gravnel crane. By standing near the button and pressing E, they can activate the gravnel crane, which will carry them into the metal refinery through a hole in the wall. Inside the refinery, the player has to find four metal ingots that they can place inside the furnace to start crafting the parts they need for the TLB. The player can find the first one along a steel beam on the wall and move another steel beam in order to climb up to another one on top of a crate. They can also jump to the next crate, or they can use another steel beam. Here the player is finding the special connector behind the crate needed in order to power the assembly line. The last metal ingot is underneath the button that powers the gravnel crane. By standing near the furnace and pressing E four times, the player can put the middle ingots inside. By borrowing the connector from the lights, the player can power the furnace and melt the metal. Once that's done, the player needs the special connector to power the gravnel crane that carries the metal up to the assembly line. Once it's powered, the player stands next to the green button and presses E to send the metal up. Now the player must leave the refinery and make their way across the warehouse and go up the staircase to the assembly line. Here the floor has fallen out from erosion, 
The player has to figure out a way to get across and up the other side without touching the corrosive water. Using a steel beam, the player can cross this unjumpable gap in the staircase. Once the player makes their way up, they have to find four metal casts in order to make the pieces they need for the TLB. The first one can be found by moving two boxes behind the assembly line. They'll need another connector in order to power the assembly line if they want to keep the lights on as well. The next connector can be found on top of the assembly unit. Here the player has found the special connector that they need in order to power the gravnel that they're going to use to ride out of the level. The last metal cast is found under some steel beams in the far corner. By standing near the conveyor belt and pressing E, the player can place the metal casts on the conveyor belt. Once they've powered the assembly unit, they can press E next to the button to craft the TLB. The player is going to need the TLB in order to combat the clouds in the next area. Once they've powered the gravnel crane, the player can go next to the button and press E in order to jump onto the gravnel crane and be carried out of the area. Hi. My name is Evan Schwartz, and you're entering NetDAP, which is the National Experimental Testing Department for Advanced Power. And they have created a fuel cell that, even after the post-apocalyptic world of scraps, still, still seems to be ticking on. So you are now trying to acquire this fuel cell. You have just uh, assembled the TBL, which is the Tesla Ball Lightning Device, which is necessary because of these clouds, and you're now heading to uh, assess the generator because in order to eject the fuel cell, you'll have to have some failover power. This, the core will not eject the fuel cell unless the generator is operational. So looking at the generator, you realize that you need a fuse, so that's going to be somewhere in this uh, facility. It's a power company, after all. There should be a fuse laying around somewhere. And as you can see, these clouds are a constant nuisance, but they seem to be attracted to energy, and that's where the TBL comes in handy. Uh, other scraps have been tempting to get this fuel cell, and as you can see, they've laid a lot of traps and acid traps and setting off these spark traps to try to get the clouds to get you. You can pick up some med kits and heal yourself from the damage, so that's handy. And uh, hidden right here is the fuse. So now that you have the fuse, uh, you'll have to put that in the circuit breaker so that the generator can kick back on, which is your next objective. Find and insert the fuse into the breakers. They must be in here somewhere. A bigger uh, acid trap, so you have to learn how to jump over that. <laughs> I'm not really good at jumping over those. And here's the circuit breaker. Pick up a battery to charge the test ball and activate the circuit breaker. So once you act, the circuit breakers have the fuse in it, you have to tell the system to fail over to the generator once the fuel core is ejected. So there are three control panels that control uh, the core, and each one of those has to be configured individually to fail over. So once all three of those are failed over, uh, you should be able to eject the core. So the next step is to find your way into the lab where the core is, and looks like that's the control panel to issue shutdown command, which opens up the main core lab area, but it shuts off the lab itself. So now you're kind of stuck in here, and you're going to have to get this fuel cell. Clearly, these clouds love the fuel cell. Again, they're attracted to anything that is even remotely... Yeah. 
electric. They're sort of drawn to it like a magnet. So now that you've got the fuel cell, you've got a magnet on you, and these things are chasing you, so uh, you've got to figure out how to get out of here. Oh. And you can take some med kit oh. to recharge your health a little bit. Oh. And there's a back door. Once you get in the back door, uh, you've got to get this uh, plank over a pit um, and then get up the hill and jump into the final area. And once you're in this final area, uh, you can go through into the next area. At this point, you'll be using the fuel cell. Thank you. Hello, my name is James Boyer, and this is the beginning of my area. Initially, the door on our left is locked, so we'll need to grab the block off the desk here to place on the pressure pad to unlock the door. Now that the door is unlocked, we can actually open the door by pressing E. In the warehouse here, we need to avoid the trip wires by pressing C to crouch underneath them or space bar to jump over them. The collectibles throughout my area will be research notes that once all of them have been collected will inform the player that the solution to the bad fuel cells which are creating the ghost clouds will be inside a teddy bear found in the next area. The trip wires do hurt quite a bit, but you can always press T if you have a med kit to help heal. <sighs> Here in this area, you'll either have to jump over or crouch underneath the fallen beams to be able to get through the area. And the trip wires in this area can be very tricky. In the control room here, you can see that the fan is spinning and there's levers that can control the fan. However, we don't know the combination yet, so we'll need to go on to find that before we can actually disable it. So to get up to the platform, we'll need to flip the ladder up. And now we can actually see the fan itself. And we can also see the combination now. So now we need to return back through the ductwork to get back to the control room because there's no ladder on this side. And there are collectibles inside the ductwork here for us. You need to crouch down to get in and out of the ductwork. Now we can press 1, 2, 3, and 4 to activate the levers to the correct combination. And you can see that the fan stopped. The audio stopped also. We'll return back over to the fan area. And now we'll be able to climb through it. And in this area there will be some uh, harmful clouds that can be controlled by the Tesla device. And also throughout this area here too. Hi. My name is Alex Sellerton. In my area of our level, the player must find an abandoned arcade where the scientist hid a device that could help rid the world of the clouds. However, since the bridge is out, they must make their way along the nearby trail. Along the trail there are piles of nearby leaves that hide collectibles, as well as some puzzles where the player must use pillars to get across gaps. These puzzles start off simple, but slowly become more challenging as you get further along. After making your way through the cave, the final puzzle on the trail requires the, the player to keep putting the spare pillar in front of themselves to get across. They can also do this to find some hidden collectibles tucked away in some nearby alcoves. Once the player gets across, they can lower the ladder for later use. Upon reaching the arcade, the player will find that the power is off. In order to turn it back on, they will have to disconnect a generator from the ruins of a hospital and connect it to the fuse on the side of the arcade.
The player can either do something similar to the river here, or, if they prefer, they can line up the pillars to get across. If the player did not get the gas canister on their way here, they will need to go back to collect it. Otherwise, once they put the generator to the fuse, the player can hit the E key to turn it on. After activating the generator, the arcade's music will begin to play, letting the player know that they can now enter. The device is hidden inside of a teddy bear, but the player must first win enough tickets. To do so, they will grab the can of tokens and play some arcade games. Three of these games include throwing challenges with the Gravnel. They are set up to where players can't cheat and will reset if the player inserts another token. Once the player has earned all four tickets, they can then turn them in to receive the teddy bear. The machine will glitch out and give you a whole bunch of them so that if you lose one, you can come back and it will respawn. The player must now make their way back across the river with the bear, but must be careful not to get the device wet. As such, the player will either have to use the three nearby pillars to juggle themselves and the bear across, or they can use the precision throwing that they learned at the arcade. The player must be careful not to take the bear through the waterfall and must find a different way to get it out. Finally, after our team does some additional tweaking to the level, the player will take their bear to a workbench to receive the device inside of it. Once they obtain the device, they will open the gate to the final area. Hi everyone, this is Mitchell Lang and this is my area of the level. Um, when you first enter the level, you're going to go through this pathway of trees here. There are collectibles hidden in the high grass. Um, what you just heard right there was the sound of a turret. 
Uh, there are laser pointers that will show you where the turrets are, what direction they're looking. If you get caught by a turret, you will get shot and you lose 10 health. Uh, right here, the objective is to find a way into the church. So essentially what you need to do is grab these fallen bricks, create a stairway, and you're in the backyard. Now you have a window here, you can take these bricks and bust through it, like so. Once inside, you will be greeted by a large chapel room, again guarded by a turret. Uh, the laser pointer on this one is a bit higher. You will be able to take cover behind the benches there. The piano gives you a message saying that a rising tune will, tune will help you rise from the ashes. Um, and then it says maybe you can find something to play the correct tunes. And there it is. There's the music sheet you need to collect. So you're going to grab one of these crates. I'm going to get it closer. Like so. Hop up on there. and collect that music sheet. Once the music sheet is collected you can head back on over to the piano which is acting as the lock, play the tune, and the doorway to the basement opens up. You're gonna head down here, watch out for the collapsed staircase. Um, fall damage will ensue and it's an instant death. So you're gonna head down here. As you can hear, the water is electrified in this room. So you need to grab this piece of scrap here. You're gonna toss it in there. Create yourself a makeshift bridge and get across. I'm gonna head down this walkway here. Remove these crates out of the way so that you can access the next room. And in you go. This room has two turrets both rotating to cover the entirety of the room. So you need to be careful, go ahead and avoid those. You need to grab this cross. Given that the contact point for the grab knoll is on the bottom of the cross, it can be a bit difficult. And that's something we're going to have to fix in the beta. That I'm going to have to fix in the beta. Go ahead and just break these bottom bricks so that we can get in there a little easier. generator room powering all of the electrical traps in the area so once that's turned off you will have gained access into the large room where the phoenix orb or the cherished uh, relic of the cult is located uh, this is the cult that has taken the device for getting rid of the clouds. Collect that orb. Once the orb is collected, the exit to the level will open. You can head on this ramp, and the level is complete. Thank you.